Hello guys, this is Brayden, aka That Tech Guy 101. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to use the Illuminata dashboard, which is widely used for different networks such as Creative Nation, Corella Digital, Zoom and TV, and Music Nations, and there's many more. So in this feature, I'll be using the Music Nations Partner Dashboard. And remember, they are all the same. So what I do, you should be able to do. So first, what you want to do is log in. And go ahead and type in your password. Once here, you'll usually see a notification, and this is usually different for each network. And then over here, if you click here, there's analytics. And in here, whenever you have enough channels, you'll be able to check and see the land analytics for every month or every year for your network based upon the channels. And then you have the channels tab. And over here, you will see that you can search a channel here. So if I search, the channel it will come up if it exists and here you can select a status to choose from so one of these but I'm not gonna do that you can select a language content aggregator or referral source operator comparison YouTube status if they're active or archived and the average day to standing order or date added the sending to order and then I'm not gonna use any, I'm just gonna use the defaults. And as you can see, I have some of the partners for this network hub right here. So you have the channel that applied, and then you have a little underneath is their little YouTube ID. And then if you click this little right here, it'll link you to their channel. Overall good standing is usually for if their channel has copyright strikes, but no data is usually because YouTube hasn't archived it for everyone to see yet. The hub is usually the name of your network underneath each Illuminata MCM. Referral is like your content aggregator or your referral source. In the source, I'm not really sure what that means yet, to be honest, but I think SB stands for Social Blade. And then it gives its views total for each user, the average per day, the subscribers total and the average day for subscribers and it will show you if they're linked to a network or not and if it says something like let's say they say it's freedom or for little digital then you can't link them unless they unlink from their network first and the status they are on right now is link request sent to the YouTube CMS meaning that they have applied and their link request has been sent and they just need to accept it themselves Here's the date that the last status was changed, so whenever they're invited. And you can go to actions, edit, or change status. Or do neither. And then over here in the finance tab, you will see your hub name. You can click edit, and you can edit each of the stuff for your network, but I'm going to choose not to. And then you can go in here, and you can view all the payments for your hub channel and it should show but this one isn't going to show because this is just an example network not a real one and then you can check producer payments and the hub payments which is for your network obviously see and like there's no payment really because there's no money so it's going to say low saldo meaning there's not that much money then you can go to um user management in here you'll see all the people who are in here and if they're deleted it'll say is deleted yes and to add a new user you can just do this and remember you can only have two network managers per hub account but there is a way to glitch a network into here a third network manager but due to um issues i cannot show you to that um and then here you can add a producer and a producer is basically so the person We'll get a custom ID and you can set a revenue share. So if let's say if they upload on your hub channel, then you can put in a custom ID for monetization and music nature and whatever Illuminati MCN will know that, hey, this person made that video. So we gotta pay him 75% of the earnings for 25%, so on and so forth. Content aggregators, you can add a content aggregator and you can edit them. And whenever you add one, you can add them like normal. So if I type in, let's say, um, then I set an email, select the country, 
and um, give them about a revenue share. So for this example, I'll be using 7.5%. And if you click save changes, you can see that, but you can't do anything else. You try to go over here, you cannot edit their payments or anything because their payments is for them to change because there's been reports of people changing the PayPal to the network's PayPal so they can just get more money, which is kind of horrible. And then here, these are different status updates. So if someone applies, you can also select the text that shows. And I believe that is just in the um, track. So if you edit that, we'll say, hi, thank you for applying for a partnership. If you meet these requirements, we'll let you into the network. And then supports, just support tickets, everything that people have posted. And you'll know if you, you posted one, if you go here and you can see edit and it has the actions button. And you can add a new feature or button, search, or you can always check the network. So for example, by typing Smosh, which I know ahead of time, I have to partner with Alloy Digital, and I click enter. It will show who they're partnered with. He's a part of the Alloy Network, which is true. If I type in um, CN for Creative Nation, he's a part of the Creative Nation Network. So there's that. And now people are also asking me if I apply, um, people are wondering, how do I change the status? So whenever you, someone applies, let me just, let me go ahead and get this hub um, apply form ID. I'm sorry about that. Like I said, um, this was just an example virtual network that someone lent me. Um, I put HTML codes and I just copy this. So if someone applies, what do I do? That's a major question. And there's a lot of questions asking for Crave Nation people. What do I do? Why aren't they partnered yet? Why is this not working? So there's a simple fix. And I'll show you how to do that with an example channel. So what I'll be doing is I will be using my channel right here. And if you're wondering, um, this isn't a Cognito, so it doesn't mess up if I already open tabs and other network managers and stuff. So if I enter in a channel name, enter my name, enter the email, permit, forgot the M there, my bad, and enter your Skype name. Now make sure you check all of these. Um, and if someone applies, they're obviously enter a security code. So let's go ahead and send that. And that should work. I submitted everything correctly. It does take some time because that's the post to MySQL to um, check in the dashboard. So if I log in here, there's my channel. And it'll just say um, view private audit information in your YouTube account to see analytics and such. And then you see the thing. Um, and if you changed it, it will show here. So now if we go over here and we go to channels. Advanced, search and filter, we search. We will see that this channel is right here. Hope all good standing? Yes. Hum, it shows everything. You click change status, click application invited, and we go over to this email account. And this will not work if you have not given the Hub network, um, like your Hub email or anything to Creative Nation yet or whatever Illuminata and CN. It will not send the email to the partner, which is not good. Um, so make sure you do that. So you can see, it will go to send an email saying you have been invited to the network, um, all that. And after you do application invited, after you do that, you have to do this. Go back in and click link request sent to Music Nations. Click the, or whatever, not MCN. Click the network name, but if they have around I would say one and a half million views per month, click manage. But if not, click this one. And click comment and type in, um, if you have a comment for the user, if they have low views or something, you can always show why. So I'm just gonna put it so they know. Um, example for video. We click save changes. Then you will see it has to load. It will say link request sent to the Music Nations Network. Comment, example for video. And now from here, you just have to wait for someone at Music Nations to accept them. 
and at any time before they apply you can't change this later on you can always change it to manage change your info if you need to change your percentage so you get potential copyright issues um, if they're active um, channel ID all of that so I'm gonna change that to manage because it's hub so that's basically how the dashboard works so if I type in here now I type in Braden I have to go here and click search I have to do this first then go back and type in Braden well I guess that's not working for some reason anyways whenever you type that in on other dashboards it will show the name of whoever applied and stuff that matches that it has basically how you use the Illuminata dashboard and how you can master it to use it better for your virtual network and that is some stuff you did not know about it if you ever need to you can also change your settings of your profile easily by clicking here and remember guys if you really do need to um i can always help you out if you need any help you can go ahead and contact me at braden at corp .co. so braden at corp .co. and just send me an email and i'll help you out with your illuminata mcn and see what's wrong if you have any troubles because as you can tell not many people really answer this because their developers are usually busy the developer for this dashboard you have to remember manages let's see i think about six other mcns with the same dashboard so he has a lot of work to do anyways guys thank you for watching and i'll talk to you guys later in the next video